I'm ready to try again. That's my girl. Well done, Aloy. Someone must have trained you well. You're pretty tough yourself. Many challengers have trained with me over the years. Each one the same as the last in one way or another. But you... You're quick, persistent, stubborn. You fight as someone who has always had to stand alone to survive. I know it as I know myself. You may not be of my blood, but you are of my blade, cut from the same steel. So here is my wish for you, Aloy. Do more than just survive. Flourish. The world will be better for it. I'll do my best. I know you will. Now, let me see that spear. Careful. Hmm. Pretty thing. But I can make it better. There. Thank you. You've had a hard journey for one so young. And you have much more to do, still, I think. I'd like to believe I've had some small part in preparing you. You have. And if I wanted to train with you again... You'd be most welcome. Aloy, did you want to train more? I defeated you. So will you tell me now why you live out here alone? Persistent. Good. I've lived longer than almost anyone in the tribe. But for Tanakh, living is for the young. Year after year, from one vendetta to the next, everyone I loved fell to the blade. My squad, my children, their children, all dead. I alone endured. After a while, I found reminders of them everywhere. In every soldier's laugh, the echoes of my squad on the eve of the battle that got them killed. In every young face, the memory of my granddaughter's bright eyes, fired up for blood and glory. So, it was time to be alone. If you've lost so many people, why do you train more fighters? That's simple, girl. It's the only thing I know how to do. I need to be going. Strike true, Aloy. And remember your training. <laughs> 